I am a procrastinator and I bought a slow cooker. <laughs> Dinner will be ready in February. <laughs> this side of the room is getting the jokes faster. Than this side. I believe in karma, so when there was a two-year-old in front of me on the plane, I kicked his seat the whole way. <laughs> I'm gonna get some plastic surgery, I'm gonna have my eyes done, I'm gonna have them both put on one side of my head, and then continually ask people if my hair looks all right. <laughs> the other day I was staring at a picture of Jesus, and I swear to God, in his face, I saw the image of a piece of toast. <laughs> I wonder if somewhere there's a society of dragons and in all their restaurants, they have pictures of Chinese people on the walls. <laughs> I never wear a cowboy hat because it makes me look like an old stripper that doesn't know it's over. <laughs> I can't even remember what joke I just told. Is anyone else having that trouble where all of a sudden they can't remember anything? Right? Like the universe expanded too fast and our little brains couldn't catch up? The other day I put on an old coat, I reached in the pocket, there was like 70 Kleenex, some Pop Rocks and some Vaseline and I thought, I don't even want to remember what happened there. But that, that probably didn't work in my favor, whatever the hell that was. I can't remember. I went to get a facial the other day. I couldn't remember if it was a facial or a massage, and the facialist walked in and said, why are your pants off? And I said, I don't know. The dentist asked me the same thing. Everyone is so nosy, right? I get confused. The other day I was sure the aliens had implanted a tracking device in me, but it just turned out to be a loose Frito in my underwear. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Also, I'm the lady on the plane that takes her dog, all right? So f off. I take my dog, yes, you're not gonna rob me of my little bundle of love, I take it with me. And you know what, actually, I think people should be required to carry a letter from their psychiatrist explaining why they're flying with children. Dog makes sense. You know what my dog has never done? Talked through the whole entire flight. My dog has never done that. I think we need emotional assist animals everywhere. Think about it. Would you be mad if your plane was late if you had to feed your ticket to a goat to get on it? No, you'd be like, look, his little lips don't match up. <laughs> right? You gotta go to the DMV, you walk in, the lady goes, take a number. And a meerkat. You can't be mad when you're holding a meerkat. You're getting a divorce, have a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Still mad, we'll put a little bow tie on the foot. That's what we do. We all gotta relax. We gotta relax and start being our authentic selves. Do what you feel. For example, I celebrate Halloween in August because when you show up at someone's house at night wearing a mask in August, you get better sh**. <laughs> Right? Think outside the box. You're driving home late at night, afraid you're gonna fall asleep at the wheel? Drive on the wrong side of the road. Let the horns from the other cars keep you away. People love to help. I do, I have a podcast called Paranormal Karen. If you like paranormal, you should tune it in. I do ghost hunting. Don't be afraid of ghosts. They're just energy. They used to be able to turn TVs on and off all the time. But now they just stand around the three remotes going, I don't know what one it is. <laughs> and everywhere I go, people go, Karen, you gotta go to this hotel room. It's haunted by a woman that died in her wedding dress. Karen, you gotta go to the train station. It's haunted by a woman jumped in front of the train in her wedding dress. Karen, you gotta go to this store. It's haunted by a woman trying to buy a wedding dress. <laughs> Ladies, do we need more reasons not to get married? <laughs> you know a phone call I never get? Karen, you gotta help us out. Our house is haunted by the ghost of a single woman that had a great career and no kids. <laughs> Never a problem. And people always say to me, Karen, can you teach me how to ghost hunt? And I tell them it's very easy. 
You go to a haunted place, and you turn on a tape recorder, and you have the same conversation that married people have during sex. You say, could you make some noise so I know you're here? And do you feel anything? And a very cold presence has entered the room. And people give me haunted objects, you know, like I own a big haunted mirror. It stands on its own, scary looking mirror. Not a kind mirror, right? Ladies know what I'm talking about. Kind mirror in the nightclub with the soft lighting makes you look very young and pretty. This is a mean mirror. Mean mirror makes you look like what you look like. So I don't like the mean mirror. I push it to the side. Friend of mine comes over. She's a medium and an alcoholic. Uh, and a life coach. And she says, you know, there's a little boy looking at you from the other side of that mirror. I know, isn't that awful? I hate children. I do everything to child-proof my house. I have pills and sharp objects everywhere. Power tools, Tide Pods, whatever it takes. So now I have this, so here's what I find out. I found out mirrors are actually portals to another time. So I said to my friend, where did you get that mirror? He got it from his grandma who got it when she worked in an elementary school in the 1920s, which means somewhere back in time, a teacher says to a student, what are you looking at? And the kid says, I'm not sure, but I think it's a naked lady pulling Fritos out of her underwear. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year.